Okay, today is August 7th, I think. Oh yeah, it is. August 7th. Um, and I haven't vlogged in such a long time. Um, so, yeah, all the things that have been happening. Um, as far as my injury, I haven't received any treatment for it uh, like I'm supposed to be receiving because... I can't afford to obviously not working and I have no like supplemental insurance and the only way that I would be able to afford treatment is if WCB paid for it which of course they should because it's from a work injury and you can see just the slippery slope maybe that's the wrong expression but you can see all the problems it causes um, regarding after my grandpa's funeral, which I didn't go to, it was in the U.S., um, in Wisconsin, uh, he had a, a military funeral where, um, because he was in World War II, he survived 90 days at Okinawa. He was in, in the Navy and survived 90 days at Okinawa. Um, he, there was, my sister said it was, um, it was really cool. I'm sorry to describe a funeral like that, especially my grandpa's, but that's what she said. And um, because it was, they had someone there from the Navy, I guess oh, someone always comes from their branch that they served in. And then I think there was a Marine as well. And they, as far as the gun salute, it was like they fired like three shots, um, not seven shots because he wasn't killed in action. Um, he wasn't killed in battle, uh, but he was, you know, they acknowledged that he did serve um, in the Navy in World War II. And, um, yeah, and then they presented the flag. They g actually gave it to my mom's sister, who was the youngest in the family. Um, he was really close to their, you know, my mom's sister, the youngest baby of the family. So she got the flag. Um, my mom was kind of upset, though, because she felt like it should have... <laughs> It should have gone to either, um, to like the male heir, like my uncle, or she was kind of upset she didn't get it, but it is what it is. Um, anyways, um, after my grandpa's funeral, I'm not sure how I even got started on this, but I went on to the website Ancestry.com and I started to, um, look up like my grand, you know, all my relatives on my grandpa's side and um, it was so interesting. I spent several days, I was so engrossed in the process um, of finding out who my relatives were and actually I learned many interesting things. I kind of went down the wrong trail because uh, the most interesting heritage is um, through either my grandparents, I mean either of my grandpas, uh, through their mothers. So it would be like my grandpa's, um, my grandpa's grandma is, has a very interesting, goes all the way back to, you know, early settlers. And, um, one of the ancestors, one of my ancestors was, um, was killed by Indians in Maine, and it helped to start this war, the, I don't know how to say it, Pioja War, uh, some war against the Indians, and um, one of his sons was, like, captured and taken up to Quebec, and then he walked 150 miles back to Maine, um, because I guess the French, the French in Quebec were helping to fund the war with the Indians. And also, um, another one of my ancestors was um, one of the first physicians in America. It was like 1720 Massachusetts. So, yeah, I was able to, tra to trace my ancestry back to some interesting people. Of course, I'm nowhere near. It would take such a long time, months and months, to try to find literally all of my relatives in America. By the time you go back 10 generations, you have like 4,000 great grandparents. So um, obviously, you know, some of the lines die out, but I was mostly just trying to follow um, 
I was mostly just trying to follow my relatives in America to see, like, if we had relatives that fought, like, basically in every war, Revolutionary War, um, yeah, ev every war. Um, 